Oh good, I can get this out of here. This thing's been a pain in my ass several times now. Well, that is one big branch. All right, well, hello everybody. We're doing nighttime crappy fishing again. And I thought this time I'd wear this really bright uh, headlamp that my baby got for Christmas to see if it could uh, improve the visuals out here a little bit. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but the problem now is that I've got bugs dive bombing my face. Let's see if the crappy are still up and close going for bait fish. It is an extremely, extremely warm night. It's windy. The full moon, well, almost full moon, is out. Pretty much terrible crappy conditions, but uh, you never know. Sometimes you think conditions are terrible and for some unknown reason it's not biting. So we're gonna see how it goes. I expect nothing, so I couldn't possibly be disappointed. Hope this is providing you guys a better look. So tonight I got my uh, Daiwa RG with the uh, light ugly stick again. And it's pretty much the only thing I ever use for crappy fishing. I used to use a uh, little $12 Walmart combo. This is far superior. Oh! Fish on. Huh? Fish on. Saw him jump out there and I threw at him. Nah, he's small. Yep. Not bad. Slammed it pretty good though. Alright, here we go. A very warm summer crappy. Very warm. Little guy. Kind of oddly shaped, actually. Get out of that wind. Black crappy. Alright, well, I'm liking the headlamp idea already. It seems to be brightening up uh, directly in front of me pretty good. So that took about, uh, that took about 14 minutes for me to find them and, and catch this guy. Let's put him back. I'm gonna make sure his jaw's okay here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Boy, they're really, uh, really lethargic. He's being awfully docile. And he ran right back up on shore. Oh my god, just go. Alright. Well, that's something. So I got him uh, by casting right out, straight out that way, and they're, he's pretty far out, about three feet down, and I just slow trolled it back to me. Basically, when you're that far out and it suddenly feels like you snagged something, you know it's a fish because uh, it's pretty deep water out there and at three feet down there's nothing you should be able to snag. It is a really warm night and the water actually went up several degrees today. It was like 86 a couple days ago and now it's 88. This is the, uh, the bait that we're using tonight. Little uh, wiggly tail grub, just a plain old uh, chick head. I'm actually kind of going for bug tonight because uh, it's very warm and there's lots of bugs out. And uh, insects make up a pretty large part of a crappy diet. Fish on. 
Not bad, not bad. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my. Whew. Well, this is one of my bigger crappies. For sure. All right. Look at that. This is def definitely one of my bigger cra uh, crappies here. I don't think he'd be quite worth uh, measuring, but why not? And check that, that out. That is a huge crappie. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. He's a big one. He put up a good fight. <laughs> All right. Let's measure him. Nice black crappie. Gotta love that. You see, there's my hand. Not bad at all. He's about uh, almost 12 inches. Definitely good to come out and catch a bunch of little crappy, but when you catch a really nice sizable one here, it definitely makes it all worth it. And I haven't seen a, a fish this big since, uh, since warm weather came around, basically. So there you go, last look. Nice uh, 12, 12, about 12 inch black crappie. Awesome to catch them. All right, let's get a little release on this guy. And uh, lately, before I've uh, before I put them back in, I've been closing their jaw for them. Make sure they don't get like lock jaw kind of. All right, so I bet he's ready to go. Yep, there he goes. All right, so I just want to show you guys something. Um, this was not our fire. This was uh, a fire that somebody left um, probably right before we came down. And uh, as you can hear on camera here, there is a steady, constant breeze tonight. And it is keeping this thing stoked like a blast furnace. It's still glowing. I mean, I, I could get it uh, back up and roaring in no time if I wanted to now. So, uh, you know, don't be an a When you come to public places like this, clean up your friggin' trash and put out your friggin' fires because this right here, this is how entire forests and people's homes get burned down. I don't have much juice left. I'm gonna try going deeper for the last few minutes here because every time my uh, bobber gets tangled up and kind of dives when I'm reeling back in, I get a nibble. I'm thinking they might be a little deeper. You had one? I had one, but he got off. Damn. Gail had a fish, but it got off. Aha, got one. That worked. That definitely worked. Yeah, it's another nice one. All right, another nice fish for tonight. Uh, couldn't tell you exactly how big this is. It's a little smaller than the last one, so probably about uh, 9, 10 inch fish here. And my battery is about to die, so I'm glad I caught him. It's that simple, folks. <laughs> 